Hey guys, welcome back. 104 from Maverick checking in. Alright, we're going to have a look at how to set up your own air-to-air -air refueling mission so the guys out there and girls that can't uh, refuel and want to make their own mission can actually set this up themselves. I get this question quite often. People ask me, can I send them a mission and stuff like that? It's very easy to do. So what we'll do instead of me sending missions out to everybody is um, I'll just quickly show you guys how to make a mission yourself. So the first thing you do is just go to the main menu and click on the mission editor option. You'll be presented with this screen. It's, this is the same um, technique that you use on all maps in DCS, guys. So what you're going to see here works on the Normandy map. It also works on the Nevada map. Because we're going to do air-to-air -air refueling, the first thing we're going to need is a tanker. So we're going to go up to the aircraft icon here to add or modify an airplane group. Click on the area of the map where we want to spawn the tanker. So we'll say that we'll put them down here in, in, in between Kobaletti and Batumi. So we go up to the aircraft type menu here and we can see all the aircraft that are available for us right now for the modules that we currently have installed. So we're looking for KC-1 Ferry which has been recently added into uh, DCS. So we've got our aircraft selected and we can change a couple of uh, details about the aircraft from this point. Um, we can select the skill level. We've got average, good, high, excellent, random and client. Now just because we select client doesn't mean we'll be able to fly this aircraft. A client only works if it's a flyable module, so don't be clicking client here, guys, thinking, "Oh, great, I'm going to get to fly around in a KC-130." Because sadly, that's not going to that's not going to happen. That's not going to work, I'm afraid. So we're going to set him on excellent. We can change his call sign here. We'll put his call sign to Shell. You can change the radio frequency that the tanker's operating on here, because we're going to be doing this flight in single player. The simple radio is on, so all you need to do is bring him up through the radio menu, and the frequency is automatically tuned. So we don't need to worry too much about that. However, if you weren't doing it with simple radio and you wanted to um, actually select the frequency, this is where you would um, add in the frequency that you want to use. So the next thing we're going to set up is um, how high he is and how fast he's going. So he's currently at 6,562 feet, random I know, and he's doing 270 knots. So we're going to bring him up a little bit to about 18,000 feet and we're going to set a, we want a, a, an airspeed of about 230 knots. Now the eagle eyed among you have noticed that I've not actually typed 230 knots in this box. That's because this is the speed that's um this is the sorry, this is the ground speed that we're setting here, guys. Okay, this is what you'll actually see as the aircraft's ground speed, not the aircraft's airspeed, which takes a little bit of practice, a little bit of trial and error to get this the speed that you want. So at around about this altitude, 300 knots ground speed is going to work out to be around about 230 knots airspeed. So we're going to go with that for the purpose of this tutorial. So the next thing we want to do is set up where we want the tanker to go. It's no good just having him spawn there. He's just going to fly north um, and, 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 go, and not go anywhere in particular. So we're going to set up a little program for our tanker here and also set up an orbit. So this is our um, waypoint actions up here. So we just click on for add or make sure that's selected to add in its first waypoint. We select in waypoint one. I'll do that again. Add waypoint one. So the aircraft's going to spawn in here at 18,000 feet doing 300 knots ground speed and he's going to fly towards waypoint one. Now when he gets to waypoint one that's his basically his job over because you've not given him any more instructions so he's just going to RTB and go and land at whichever air base is closest for him. So we're going to give him some instructions here for what we want him to do. We want our tanker to set up in an orbit so that he stays in this area so that we can come back and refuel here multiple times if we want to do that. So we keep add selected and we add in just another waypoint. We'll say over here it get the the marker for galley here. We'll get that zoomed in, we'll get that dialed up. So the aircraft's going to spawn in here, fly to waypoint one, then fly to waypoint two. Now we want them to do an orbit in between these two waypoints. So we're going to set up a, on advanced uh, waypoint actions, we're going to set up an, an orbit command here. Now how the orbits work, guys, is whichever waypoint you've got the orbit set up on, He's going to fly between that waypoint and the next one set and then come back to the original waypoint. Now, it doesn't matter of how many waypoints you've got set. If I wanted to empty orbit between waypoint 4 and waypoint 5, I would set the orbit action on waypoint 4. And he would just, he would spawn here, fly to 1, 2, 3, 4. Then he would go to waypoint 5. Then he would come back to waypoint 4, go back to 5, 4. And then he would keep doing that until he gets low on fuel. And then once he's bingo fuel, he would depart to waypoint 6, go to waypoint 7, and then RTB to wherever he's going. So what we want to do is have him go between waypoint 1 and 2, and then we'll have him come back and land at Katasi, for example. So we'll delete all these extra waypoints. We're going to have him orbit between waypoint 1 and 2, and then once he's finished, we're going to add in a landing waypoint here. 
so that he comes back and lands to Katasi. Now you don't have to do this if you're not going to be re if, you, if you're not going to make a mission where the tanker's going to be in the air for hours. All you need to do is have these same two waypoints. So we click on waypoint one. We'll just delete that. We'll actually make sure we've got edit selected on the waypoint actions first. We'll click on waypoint one and we'll go to advanced waypoint actions. You'll see here it's already got tanker pre-selected because we've got refueling selected as the task. So we just click on add. Go to perform task which we've already got selected drop down the action menu and then click on orbit so you'll see here that it's got a little action here racetrack 167 knots at basically 18,000 feet now we're going to change this slightly because you'll notice that this speed is different from the speed that's set in here so you always have to be careful that you cross check these two speeds or whichever speed you want your tanker flying at. So in this case we want them at around about 230 knots which like we said is 300 knots ground speed so we'll get that set. And that's pretty much it guys, that's all you need to do to get the tanker set up. So now we've got a racetrack orbit set, we can also change that to a circle orbit so it's always turning. The tanker always turns left guys, okay, so that's a, another important thing to remember. Um, even when he's in his orbit, he's always going to make left hand turns for his orbit as well as in the racetrack as well as the circle orbit. So we're going to sell it, select it on racetrack so that he just keeps going around until he gets low on fuel and then he's going to come back to land in Katasi. Now all we need to do is set our aircraft up, so we'll set ourselves up in a Harrier. So we just click on the aircraft menu, click where we want the aircraft to spawn in behind our tanker here and we'll select Aviate B from the menu. The skill will select to client, if you were just wanting to do this in single player you could also just select it to player there, but we'll just keep it on client for now. Um, we'll remember it just set up the altitude and the speed just so we're a little bit closer to the tanker, it's a little bit more sensible. So we've got 17,000 just so we're not going in a collision course with the tanker and we've got the same airspeed set so we're going to delete that waypoint there, click on edit, drag it a little bit closer to behind the tanker and then if we were to spawn in right now we would just be flying in a different direction so we're going to add in a waypoint just so that our aircraft's flying in the same direction as the tanker and that's it, we're going to spawn in at 17,000 feet doing 300 knots ground speed flying in that direction and the tanker's going to be right in front of us. So now all we need to do is save this mission and press fly and there we go guys, we've got our own refuel and practice mission. So the mission's loaded up, all we do now is just uh, select our aircraft and come down, click on OK. We're going to spawn in, we should be pretty close to the tanker, yep there he's there, right in front of us guys. That's as simple as it is, it really is that straightforward. Uh, now you've got a tanker that's going to orbit between two waypoints that you can practice refueling from. I hope this video helps guys and I will catch you in the next one, Maverick out.